Now let me say to you before I leave Australia Any Muslim Whenever I talk on two subjects A lot of people Now begin to behave strangely towards me But While it pains my heart It will not change me Because I do not teach Islam To please people I try to do it to please my Lord. When I talk on the subject of riba, some people begin to hate me. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. And when I talk on this subject also, when a Muslim pledges his allegiance to the modern secular state and to its constitution, which declares that Allah is no longer Al Malik. No longer Al-Akbar, no longer Al-Hakam. The state is now Al-Malik, Al-Akbar and Al-Hakam. And the state can make halal what Allah made haram. When a Muslim pledges his allegiance, you've got to do that to get citizenship. Oh yeah, can't get a US passport without pledging allegiance. When you do that, you commit shirk. If you don't believe me, no problem, no problem. When you reach the grave, then you will see. When a Muslim goes and votes in the elections to constitute the government which will preside over this shirk, you enter into shirk. But if you don't believe me and you want to go and vote in the elections, I am not stopping you. So don't let there be any bad blood between us. I'm not stopping you. But when you enter in the grave and you find that you've entered into shirk, do not plead ignorance, that's all. Stand up like a man and take it on that day. This is now the universal shirk that the Prophet ﷺ had prophesied. He said the time would come when shirk will be everywhere, it would be so difficult to recognize it. However, as difficult as it would be to recognize a black Ant on a black stone on a dark night. So if you did not recognize it before this lecture, don't be surprised, but now you know. <laughs>